guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. I'm stoked to bring you a fun video. 10 super easy acoustic songs that you should know and can play right now. I also have links for full tutorials for all these lessons in the link below. Let's get to it. Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. It's really great because it, it's easy chords. Um, it's, it's the Wonderwall chords. Funny enough, Wonderwall came after this. But once you get the chords down, you can just add a couple of little finger takeaways to get those classic licks. So this is a really good one when you can get chords down real smoothly and you just wanna add that next little element of challenge. Wonderwall. Now, classic set of chords, classic acoustic song. One thing that's really cool about it, for the main part, you can just plant your ring and pinky in the on the third fret up from a capo for the whole bit. John Lennon. The main two chords of the song are great, easy beginner songs. It's also, I think, one of the best song, mainstream songs ever written with an amazing message, you know, peace and love. And uh, it just starts with a C and an F chord. And similar to like a song like Wish You Were Here, you can start with two basic chords, uh, but then add that little piano lick. Also, that's a piano song that can translate to beginner guitar. So C to F are the two chords. One little thing. You just take your index finger off and that's one of the licks. So that's a really cool thing for a beginner guitar player. C, finger off, F. fans here. No Woman No Cry and the Beatles song Let It Be are basically the exact same song. Let me show you. Let it be. C, G, A minor, F, C, G, F down to C. No Woman No Cry. So there's just, I mean, they're, they are the same song. And if you're a beginner working on just learning your basic open cowboy chords, then they're identical. Uh, you know, a, a few little nuances when you get more experienced, like for instance, just a little walk-up lick for um, No Woman, No Cry. Let it be has a little uh, a little ending.
like that. Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner. I had the honor of uh, interviewing the late, great Ed King who wrote the riff to Sweet Home Alabama. He uh, showed me what I was doing wrong and whatnot, but today we're gonna be doing it as a beginner riff. There's quite a lot of nuance to the classic riff, but you can start with the three basic guitar chords of D, C at nine, and G. And you can get through the whole song with those three chords. Funny enough, all the extra stuff is based on that foundation still. So if you want to get better at guitar and start getting into lead guitar and, and the little riffs and things, you, you're going to want to start with these three basic chords because everything is built off of those basic shapes. Check it out. Joker by Steve Miller Band. Uh, another one of those songs where the structure is easy chords, but then it has fun little licks that you can add as you get more comfortable. So really we have a G and a C add nine and a D. Classics. That's what you want to start with. Then you just start adding some bass lines like some of the other songs in this video. Knockin' on Heaven's Door, originally written by Bob Dylan, but also made very famous by... Redacted. So this one's great. It's the same chords over and over. Um, G, D, A minor, and it alternates between G, D, and C. The A minor and C alternate, but then when it's the chorus, it's just the C chord. Let me show you what I mean. G, D, A minor, Go to the chorus, we just do C. I Won't Back Down by Tom Petty. Uh, one of my favorite songs on this list, actually. One of my favorite artists. And it's all the easy open chords. Starting with E minor, D, and G. Three of the first chords you should start practicing as a guitar student. E minor, D, G, again, watch this, D, then C, back to E minor, D, G, Penny 
Spicy Whiskey. Chris Stapleton made this very famous. Two chords, the whole song. And when you have a capo on the second fret, no bar chords needed. G and A minor. And it's counted in six. Six, one, two, three. A minor. Stays on A minor. So if you were a singer just learning guitar, even you couldn't even use a pick. You could sit there and just work those two chords out. Get that shape, let it strum out, do your vocals, and when, you know, maybe two, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, Rain by CCR. Lots of classic stuff going on in this song. One of which is that it's the basic one, four, five with a what's called a six in there. All very basic, a really fun strumming pattern. And it goes like this. C. It's got a little walk down lick. Hold on that first chord. And then a G. Back to the C. And then a nice chorus. F, G, C, walk down. To A minor. Whole song. F, G, C, walk down. To A minor. Thanks for watching the video, you guys. Remember, uh, I have links for lessons for all of those songs below. So check those out if you want a full tutorial, some strumming patterns, it's really, you know, walk you through it. Thank you for that support. Also, if you like this video and you'd like another 10 or 12 easy acoustic songs in a list like this, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll work on a part two or part D. Uh, thanks again. Thanks for supporting Marty Music. We'll see you later.